Today, we're solving systems of equations algebraically, again, using substitution. However, the equations are going to be a little different than we, what we've done before. Notice in this example, we've got, we've got one equation in slope-intercept form, but the second equation is in standard form. We're still going to kind of use the same method we've been using, substitution, but it's just going to look a little different. So. Notice, in the first equation, we've got y equals 3x plus 2. What we're going to do is, we're going to substitute all this stuff for y in the second equation. So we're going to replace y in the second equation with 3x plus 2, because y equals 3x plus 2. So, I'm going to start by writing this second equation out, negative 5x plus three times, but instead of y, like I said, we're going to replace y with what we know y equals, 3x plus 2. And that equals 14. So there's the, our equation. Notice our new equation has just x's in it. Before we had an x and a y in it, and we can't solve that. We can't solve an equation with two different variables in it. But now that we've got this equation, we can solve this. So use your distributive property. Negative 5x plus 9x plus 6 equals 14. I'm going to simplify this by combining like terms. And now it's just a matter, matter of undoing this. Minus 6 on both sides. 4x equals 8, divide by 4 on both sides, x equals 2. So we're halfway there. We've got our x coordinate. But don't forget, when we're solving a system of equations, we're trying to find the point of intersection. So we've got the x coordinate. Now we need to find the y coordinate. We're going to take our x value and put it back into one of our original equations. Now notice. In this situation, we've only got one equation where it says y equals. Technically, we could put 2 in for x in the second equation, but it'd take a bunch of work, to, a bunch of extra work to solve for y. So we're going to use this equation, the first one, y equals. Since we want to know what y equals, we're going to use the equation that says y equals. So y equals 3 times x. We know x is 2, so I'm going to replace x with 2, plus 2. And I know 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So we've just found the point of intersection. Our x value is 2, our y value is 8. And just to make sure we did the problem right, we can check our answer pretty easily. To check the answer, use the other equation. Meaning, since I used the first equation to find y, I'm going to take the second equation and plug in my value for x, in for x, which is 2. And I'm going to replace y with our y value, 8. And it should equal 14, like it says. If it does, then we know we're good. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. 3 times 8 is 24. Negative 10 plus 24 is 14. And look, that's what we needed it to be, 14. So it checks out. So that is how to solve a system of equations when one of them is in slope-intercept form and the other is in standard form.